Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Sketch Maps. Now, this is a really awesome plugin that allows you to grab images from the internet and put them onto item frames using maps. Now, we have a variety of images in front of us. Some of them are JPEG, some of them are PNG. And this PNG image up here has a transparent background that, as you can see, is not black or white. It is literally just item frames. So you can uh, you can have either. Uh, but we are going to get into the plugin right now. So if we do force slash sketch map help, it will show us all of the commands. So there's two ways of getting images. You can grab the URL off the internet, or you can download it and put it into your sketch map folder and then import it from there. And um, while you're creating it, you can choose the size if you want. Uh, but I would not recommend that as this is the size of um, the image to uh, when I grabbed it off the internet and this is what it looked like when I was messing around with the sizes so um, bear that in mind you could change the size if you wanted to uh, but it might look a bit messed up so first of all let's go ahead and grab a URL I have uh, I've got one that I found earlier it's uh, it's just a car it's a Mazda 61 um, and what we're gonna do is sketch map create and we're gonna call it something let's just call it car and paste in the URL now we could change the X and Y values of it. We might actually do that in a bit just to show you how messed up it can be. Uh, but we are going to do sketch map, place, and then car. And um, when we do this command, we need to be pointing at the top left hand corner of our canvas. Uh, so I'm gonna do it in th this corner um, right here. And it's probably gonna be quite small, uh, but that doesn't matter. There we go. So we have uh, pasted in the URL of the car. Uh, so let's go ahead and mess around with the sizes of the car and make it look pretty ridiculous. Let's call it car1 and what size. So let's go ahead and do X as, I don't know, 12 and Y as 4 or 3. So this, this will probably look ridiculous. Um, let's see. And there we go. So um, when you're, you're messing around with the sizes, make sure you actually choose something that uh, will look relatively good. Uh, but my my goodness, that looks awful. So the second way of creating an image is via importing it after you've downloaded it and put it into your sketch map folder. So um, if we do sketch map uh, and then help, you will see the command is very similar. Um, so we need to change create to import. Uh, the map ID is going to be called Gavin and the file name is gavin.png. Uh, you might recognize this person and we are going to leave the X and Y values um, as they are because we don't want to mess up uh, how it looks. So paste it in and um, there we go. So it has worked. As you can see earlier, um, I, I used an image with an incorrect uh, file type uh, that wasn't supported and it didn't work. So let's do sketch map place, uh, Gavin, and <laughs> there we go. We have um, Gavin Free from Achievement Hunter, one of my favorite people on the internet. He's just so funny. Um, and there we go. So it's a PNG, uh, transparent background, and he's flying away or something. <laughs> I don't know. I just Googled Gavin and found that. So um, yeah, that, that's how you create them. You can obviously delete them if you don't want them. So sketch map, um, delete I don't know, car one, and that will be deleted. You can list them to so see how many you have. I've got a lot. As you can see, I've got all of these, and um, I could um, import any one of them and place them onto a wall. Um, and you can also get them as items. So I'll show you that. So sketch map get um, Gavin, for example. And this will give us all of the images that we need for Gavin. So each of these is a map. Uh, we could literally just grab all of them. They won't be in order, um, but uh, if we grab some item frames as well, down here, you could arrange it yourself, um, which would take quite a while, but uh, let's see, so uh, this, this would be like a jizz, jigsaw puzzle, uh, that's correct actually, uh, but you could put them in the wrong order, so uh, <laughs> this would be quite funny to do. Um, as you can see, I didn't do that brilliantly. Uh, but with with a few tries, I'm sure we could get it right. There we go. So uh, that's that's sort of correct. But that is how you use the plugin. It's really awesome. It's easy to use and um, it works really well. Um, but you can download it for free, as I mentioned. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.